Hi, my name is Will Mitchell, also known as Professor Science. Hi, my name is Trevor Cole, aka Just Plain Awesome. For today's experiment, we'll be testing the hypothesis that equal velocities moving in opposite directions should cancel each other out. We'll be testing this by using a tennis ball shot from this slingshot out of this vehicle at the same speed in opposite directions, where the ball should fall straight down. And the materials that we'll be needing for this experiment are as well. Taking the tennis ball launcher, drawing it back a certain distance, which Trevor will then measure and mark on my arm so we can replicate it in future parts of the test. And I'll take the tennis ball launcher, shoot it directly in the air while Trevor uses the stopwatch to get the times. We'll take the average time, plug it into this formula to calculate the average speed that the tennis ball travels, which we'll then use later, shooting the opposite direction of the vehicle in order to make the velocities cancel. After 20 trials with our tennis ball launcher, we recorded all these times which came to an average of 2.18 seconds. We then used the same formula that we showed you earlier, plugging in the variables. The initial velocity was zero, since we're only looking for the velocity of the ball as it falls on the way down. The acceleration of gravity on Earth's surface is 9.81 meters per second squared. We took our time average of 2.18, but divided by two, because we're only looking for the time that the ball fell on the way down. That gave us a velocity of 10.7 meters per second. We then used that velocity and converted it to both kilometers per hour, which is 38.5, as well as miles per hour, which is 23.9, which we'll try to replicate in our vehicle in the second part of the experiment. In the phase of this experiment, we will have two parts. For the first part, I will be driving the vehicle behind me, and I will drop the ball out the window to see what effect the velocity of the car has on the ball. For the second part, we will actually run the experiment, where we will shoot the tennis ball out the back of the vehicle at the same velocities we calculated earlier in the experiment. This will then tell us if our hypothesis was correct. Let's see how this first part goes. As you can clearly see, the tennis ball, when dropped out of the vehicle, went the same velocity as the vehicle until friction and air resistance slowed it down.
Alright, for the second part of the experiment today, uh, I'm going to climb in the back, shoot this out of the vehicle, and see if we can get these velocities to cancel each other out. To help us experiment, we put lines on either side of the camera's field of vision. That way we'll know exactly when to let go of the tennis ball launcher to see if we can cancel out these velocities. You know, this is probably a time in the video where I should say something like, don't try this at home, kids, but I guess I really can't talk since that's essentially what we're doing right now, so I guess I'll just say, when you're doing science this awesome, remember, safety first, especially when you're doing science in the middle of an abandoned road in the middle of the desert. Thank you. surprisingly good. However, there could be possible errors from the wind, the slope of the road, and the spin of the ball. So, I would say based on our footage, our hypothesis was definitely correct. Yeah, it looks like when you have two different velocities going at opposite vectors, they do indeed cancel each other out. And that concludes our experiment. Thank you. Our work is never over.